On top of replacing asphalt on Sheridan between 91st and 101st, City Councilor Phil Aiken says they're also upgrading the crosswalks and adding width to the sidewalk on the east side of the road. We're putting a parapet wall, so about a four foot high wall in between the pedestrians and the bicyclists and the cars. And then we're putting pedestrian refuge islands out into Sheridan as well. So that if you get stuck in between lanes, you have a place to stand where you're more safe. He says this project will make it so there's sidewalks on both sides of the road, filling gaps in the sidewalk on the east side and adding sidewalks on the west side. We're also putting up rapid flashing beacons so the pedestrian can push that button. The city of Tulsa says drivers are encouraged to find an alternate route and that this portion of the project is expected to take about a week and is being done in coordination with Tulsa Classical Academy's fall break to minimize the traffic impacts as much as possible. One neighbor who lives off the stretch who didn't want to go on camera shared with me that he wishes the city would also widen this road, saying he's gone to the city about it, but they responded saying they don't have the money. City Councilor Phil Aiken tells me that when it comes to addressing the growth of Tulsa and the towns south of Tulsa like Bixby, the city can't afford to widen every road in South Tulsa all at once. So there's a method they follow when it comes to choosing which roads they widen. He says their first priority is resolving two lane necks, which is when a multi-lane road turns into a two lane road and then back into a multi-lane road. For example, the recent widening of Yale between 81st and 91st, which was the last one mile section of Yale between the Creek and Broken Arrow Expressway to not be multi-lane. He says their second priority is extending the wider roads to the edge of the city. Ryan Stockett, News Channel 8.